drive the same roads every day We both get there our own way Thistle and an apple tree How different two souls can be But we both grow from the same sorrow can be like a tree in the wind same old roots but i can bend turning to understand and sway together now it's almost like a dance rendering It is like almost four o'clock and this is my first meal. I don't know, I think one week into the MCO, which is now, it's just really starting to hit me and I just miss people. The other day it dawned on me that like my very first year of work was just completely not how I thought it was going to be because of this whole pandemic um, and like that's okay I'm still really really blessed with opportunities and stuff but it's just kind of sad I guess because I had so much hopes and expectations for what coming home to KL and working would be like and obviously it hasn't been anything like what I thought. I feel like the lesson I learned from that though was there's no need to worry and over plan and feel like you have to have all your shit together because I was like that and I would always get really stressed and really anxious when things were uncertain and now everything is uncertain and the lesson to take from that is don't stress the things you can't control because so many parts of life are unpredictable and you can only plan so much and it's just not worth stressing yourself out over. Today I'm just not feeling great, to be honest. Today I feel like I'm not in control of my feelings and I really feel like eating this roti telur, taking a shower and getting into bed and watching Netflix. And I think I'm gonna allow myself to do that. Sometimes it's important to listen to yourself and listen to your body and kind of figure out what it is that you need And I really think in this moment I need to lie down and take a nap It's just really scary to think about potentially losing the people that you really love and It's really scary to think about not knowing when this is gonna end I wish I bought another one of this because it's so good I feel like this is just my <laughs> my feelings talking it's just not a great day today and that's okay I keep telling myself that it's okay that I don't feel great today because maybe tomorrow I'll wake up and I'll see everything differently Anyways, I'm gonna go shower now. Hello guys, 
It's been about a week since I last recorded something for this particular vlog. I don't know, sometime halfway through last week, I just really hit a low point and I was just very anxious and not in a good place mentally. So I basically just started reading the Bridgerton series and um, enjoyed getting lost in a different world. I read like six books in five days. Now I'm trying to slow down a little bit. Um, and today I really want to, it's a Tuesday today, by the way, and it's 1.10 a.m. in the mix. <laughs> And it's 1.10 p.m. in the afternoon. I got out of bed around 12, which is really late for me. Um, I wanted to wake up at around 8.30 and go for a walk, but that did not happen. Um, but it's okay, I'm just getting ready now. I thought spending some time putting in effort to getting dressed up would get me back in the mood to be a little bit more productive. Um, I do have some emails and stuff that I need to reply to, and I'm just... Trying to get myself back into a better headspace. It's a new week and I don't want to be in my pajamas all week again. A lot of people have been asking me about my thoughts on the Bridgerton books. Bridgerton. The Bridgerton books. <laughs> and honestly, I really like them. Um, I'm not one of those people where I overly critique books or movies or tv shows like if it's an enjoyable watch i just enjoy it and take it as it is i'm not really very nitpicky on like the writing or you know the way something is shot or filmed or the way the story is told to me if it's like if i watch the whole thing or read the whole book and i enjoy the overall experience then i like it i watched the bridgerton series on netflix first and i really really loved it i thought the cast was perfect and Everything about it was just so dreamy and um, yeah, I loved it. And then I decided to start reading the books and I would recommend it if you're just looking for a light read that sort of transports you away from your real life and that's exactly what the books did for me. Honestly, like they are kind of cliche, like I think all romance books in a little way are a bit cliche and I don't really mind that so I'm just watching it and enjoying it if you enjoy romance novels and you don't mind the cliche it's nice it's especially nice to read during MCO considering like we can't go anywhere and so reading about these like grand balls and like dances and all that sort of thing is quite entertaining indeed <laughs> but yeah I'm all ready now I um, decided to continue my thing where I wear one color all day, so today is purple. Got these little purple earrings from the same brand um, I mentioned last time, Pink and Z. This dress is really cute. I thrifted this from a thrift market from my friend Sarah. Um, it's so beautiful and perfect. I feel so pretty when I wear it. I feel like when my hair is out of my face, I feel a little bit more professional. I'm gonna put this giant floofy scrunchie onto my hair, like that. <laughs> so yeah, this is my look today. I'm all purple, <laughs> trying to find a little bit of motivation to keep me going. I've honestly just been very lonely. I don't even remember what I said in the vlog from last week. I'm trying to remind myself constantly that this strange MCO staying at home time is so different than what any of us have ever experienced ever before that it's okay to need a little bit of time to like adjust or or cope um i think the past five days of me just binge reading the bridgerton series has been my coping mechanism and i'm just gonna be okay with that i'm gonna be okay with zero productivity and not really feeling like working because it's a really weird time and i think we can allow ourselves that Grace to just take a chill pill. I honestly haven't opened my planner in so many days because I've just been reading. So I figure it's time to open this back up. He's hoping love will never die. Life unfolds in the strangest ways And sometimes you just 
just can't keep love alive But I've tried And I've tried But I just can't drink you off my mind Since you left me Things have been so heavy realize some hand si some hand sanitizers really smell like straight up vodka I was really happy that the grocery store was super empty so I could get what I needed to get and then get out um, I always get so anxious going out nowadays it's so hard to imagine that there was a time when we would go to music festivals and we would be shoulder to shoulder to other people and like you could feel their sweat and you could share a drink with another person and it's so weird to think that that time was literally just a year and a half ago that is so crazy to me I feel like this week has been a weird week and this is gonna be a really weird vlog my mood swings have just been up and down and all over the place for the past week so I don't really know what to say I don't know what this vlog is LED light bulbs. I bought those light bulbs that can change color for mood lighting. Yes! Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm back in my room. I've taken this out of the... They are the light bulbs, so I'm so excited to try them. Scan the QR code to download the app. Okay. I'm downloading this app now and then I think apparently I can control the light bulb from there okay so I've downloaded the app I'm gonna sign up I'm gonna put the light bulb in my bathroom so my bathroom light because I figure it'd be nice to have like not as bright light at night I feel like at times like this I truly feel like a grandma I am so confused okay guys so i connected it and like look i can control the brightness and that's not even the coolest part like i can do the cool lighting and the warm lighting and then it matches my outfit, but also I can do all the colors. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea how excited I am for this. How did I not know this existed? This is truly the most exciting thing. I think I've said that like a million times, but I just can't get over it. I'm gonna do this light pink for right now. I love it! I'm so happy. Are you guys ready to eat? Are you guys ready to eat?